FIFA 2022 kicks off this weekend, and it has already seen a raft of product releases on the eve of the event. This year's leading consumer electronics showcase event holds in Berlin, Germany. On the sidelines of the FIFA 2022, Amazfit has unveiled the Amazfit GTR4 with a new BioTracker 4.0 PPG optical sensor, and enhanced GPS with access to five satellite systems. The company has had a quiet year by its standards, but the new flagship smartwatches represent a significant improvement on the previous generation, both in terms of appearance and features. The follow-up to the GT3 series, which launched at the back end of 2021, while the GTS4 Mini is the successor to the GTS2 Mini as the Mazfit never launched a GTS3 Mini. Interestingly, there doesn't seem to be any sign of an Amazfit GTR3 Pro successor, which launched alongside the GTR3 and the GTS3. We were on the ground at IFA 2022, at the Amazfit press conference, to get hands-on with the devices. We'll start with the GTR4 and GTS4, which once again gives you the option of round or square case looks. The Mazda GTR4 smartwatch has up to 10 sports modes, advanced fitness features, and additional functionality via the Zep app. The GTR4 has an advanced track run mode, a new golf swing mode, and compatibility with Adidas running. The Mazda plans to also incorporate support for Strava via an update. It will also be possible soon to import route parameters from Zep into the GTR4 and navigate the route in real time. The round GTR4 comes in brown, black leather and gray colors and hosts an always-on and wall display, with the option to pick from over 200 watch faces, including over 30 animated and interactive ones. The aluminum case has a weight to it, and the racing car-inspired appearance makes for a hyper-mask and look. Meanwhile the decidedly more feminine Amazfit GTS4 comes in white, brown, and pink colorways, measuring in at 9.9mm thick. It features a 1.75-inch AMOLED touchscreen display. It's more lightweight and svelte and our first impressions were that the GTS or GTR have deviated in their look more than on previous generations. We wouldn't say they are exclusively made for men-women, but there's a more deliberate effort here to appeal to women. Despite their visual differences, both watches run the new Zep OS 2.0 operating system, which heralds a bunch of improvements. There's a new app menu layout options, and users now get Amazon Alexa integration. You can use Alexa to control the smartwatch, and there's a raised to wake gesture to go hands-free. But there's also a built-in music player and access to a mini app store, which includes some games and new utilities such as an app for baby sleep and feeding times. It's hardly the Wear OS or app store, but more utilities are certainly welcome, and make the experience feel busier. On the health and fitness tracking front, both include a Mazfit's new BioTracker 4.0 optical sensor array, that the company boasts collects 33% more data than its predecessor. Amazfa claims this will improve heart rate tracking performance for exercise. It will also monitor blood oxygen and stress level data. Sleep monitoring has also been given a boost, including the ability to now create your own sleep schedule, which means shift workers will get better accuracy for daytime naps. Amazfit has also added the dual-band GPS antenna technology from the TRX2 and will offer support for up to six satellite systems and the ability to upload and follow routes via a future firmware update. It also uses an improved antenna which the company claims will improve signal during workouts. It's adding strength training modes, with reps counting, and some pretty nifty looking analysis of muscles worked. And the GTS or GTR4 also gets track run, and golfers can also use the golf swing mode when out on the driving range. In terms of battery life, the GTR4 can deliver up to 14 days in typical usage, while the GTS4 should last over a week with similar usage. We imagine just like the GTS3 and GTR3 though, if you're using continuous health monitoring features, those battery numbers will take a hit. Joining the GTR4 and GTS4 is the GTS4 Mini, which already launched in India in July, so we pretty much know what to expect. It features a 41mm case, has a 1.65 inch, 336 by 384 resolution AMOLED screen with an always-on display mode, and comes with a 20mm strap. Features-wise, it also runs on Zep OS, and includes Amazon Alexa integration, built-in GPS with 120 plus sports modes, 24 per 7 heart and blood oxygen monitoring, and it promises up to 15 days battery life in typical usage. So you're mainly getting a slightly bigger case, screen, battery life and new optical sensors compared to the GTS2 Mini. The Mazda GTR4 and GTS4 will be available globally landing in the UK and the likes of Spain, Italy, and France later in September. Pricing for the duo starts at €199, Euros, so they'll be sticking at around the same price as its predecessors. The GTS4 Mini unsurprisingly comes in cheaper at €99, Euros, and is available in Germany now with other countries to follow. We'll be getting the GT4 series smartwatches in for testing, so we'll be able to share our thoughts on whether Mazfit has delivered a worthy upgrade on the GT3 and GT2 Mini series. I hope you don't have any questions, don't forget to hit the like button, have a nice day, and see you soon.